The Sports County Report with Libra King, brought to you by Harvey Autos in Shreveport, Bossier City, the name you've trusted for years, Geico, the insurance savings you expect, Supreme Chevrolet, expect more from Supreme Automotive Group in Gonzales, Creed and Creed Law Firm, serious attorneys, for serious injuries. Bollinger Shipyards, 75 years of delivering high quality vessels. Here's your host, Lee Burkeen. Hi everyone, Lee Burkeen, your host of the Sports Scouting Report and also Louisiana Football Magazine since 1997. I've been covering Caldwell since 91 when I was working at Tiger Rag Magazine uh, for LSU. We used to do all the recruiting. Gordy Rush, I was working with him, a former LSU football player and then started the magazine in 97. Caldwell High School has had some phenomenal players, some underrated players come out over the years. And we're gonna interview their head coach, Cleo, who's, who's here today. We're gonna to talk about Caldwell High School. He brought two of his players who are very underrated, good football players, and uh, just you know educate people in Caldwell that are not from the Monroe area, that are from South Louisiana, maybe even Ellick, maybe even Shreveport, just to kind of tell you more about Caldwell. We'll be right back. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back, Lee Burkeen. I want to go ahead and introduce the head coach from Caldwell High School, Cleo Head. Coach, thank you for being yeah, here. Thank you. I'm glad, glad you had us. I'm excited. My goal was to get all the teams in the area, right. or, or try to. Try to. And I've never really been able to get Caldwell in 28 years, and we did it. Yeah, we did. Like I said, I mean, it's all about the kids and the boys and just trying to get their name out there and, and everything else. So we appreciate what you do. Coach, you said you're from the area, like Winsboro, not far from here. Well, not far from here. I'm from Ravel. You know, born, raised, grew up there. You know, went to school at ULM, or NLU slash ULM. Yeah, that's what I was Switched saying. over at that time right. period when I was finishing up and stuff like that. But uh, just from the area and just, just kind of grew up here, hometown boy. I got to ask you this because ULM, let's go back to Northeast. Okay, yeah, Northeast. Right. That's, right. What, that's right. what I know. Northeast. That's what I know. I've got some friends that went there. You know Bobby Breston. Yes. And obviously Stan Humphreys. Oh, yes, yeah. And Bob Lane. Right. Well, they had a run on quarterbacks. They Steve did. Steve Foley, that they was did. all pro right. VN. Yeah. They had a couple at Raymond Fillyard. Correct. At one time, it was like the quarterback place. Yeah. Peterson? Yep. Yeah. I mean, like I said, you know, and look at them. You know, I mean, they all went to play, you know, higher level and stuff like that. Just all the kids needed an opportunity, a chance to show what they can do. Keep hoping ULM comes back. <laughs> but that portal's killing them. It is. Because then is. ULM was getting some players coming up, and they all left, all the good ones. All left. If they get a better offer somewhere else, they get a couple, you get a year of experience, and they go, go to a bigger school, and it's just a, it's a, a starting place, I guess you could say. But it's a great school at ULM, though. It is. Um, Cleo, what, tell us about Caldwell. we got a couple of kids here. We'll talk to them. But, you know, y'all had some good teams. The, the history of the school has been strong. You know, winning's been consistent, consistent. over the years. Right, right. Since it, I've covered them. Yeah, it, it has. Like I said, it, it's uh, it kind of it, it's a place that's overlooked some. You know, as far as you know, you know, looking at it, because it, it's unless you're from around the area, right. you really don't know anything about it. But uh, you know, one thing Kyle is always known for are good for some big linemen. You know, mm -hmm. uh, good running backs. Good running backs and stuff like that. So I mean, that's what we try to build off, base our offense off of, and stuff like that. And, and then. You know, our, the identity that we're trying to use, that it used to have, we're trying to get back to is just grit. That's what I was talking to the kids about today. Old is school. just old school. It, it's, you know, we're not going to be the ultra talented, you know, but, you know, like I told them, you know. I love it. Downhill ball. Downhill ball. You know, we're going we're gonna to make sure that our technique and, and our work ethic is more important than our DNA. You yeah, know, so. you know, look, I know all these young coaches love the four wide, five wide, six wide if they could if they could but you can stop it right you can't stop downhill if you don't see it a lot if you don't right? see it a lot and you know i mean that, that's kind of our deal i mean I, you know we're, we're we're basing off of our offensive line and stuff we we're going to be young this year in the in the quarterback area we've got two kids who we're looking at but then you know we're going to be young so 
we're really going to have to rely on our offensive line to do well. We got three guys coming back from last year who, you know, one of them you'll see in just a minute and stuff like that, you know, about a 6'3 junior who's, I mean, a senior this year who just really controls the line for us. And, and uh, you know, we got a big running back that we're going to try to get behind him a lot and just, uh, you know, see if you can find our little bitty running backs behind yeah. our big linemen. And, and, and try. Coach, at one time, I think it was like almost seven, eight years in a row in the 90s, early 2000s, there was an all-state running back, it seemed, every year from Caldwell. Yeah. A couple of them were brothers and cousins. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. And, and then there always seems to be that big back. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and like I said, you know, we're trying to find the identity of our running back right now. we got a freshman who's coming up who looks like tons of potential and so forth. But, uh, you know, we, we got two sophomores, our, you know, who are going to really tote the rock for us this year who are hard runners. you got you know? a big junior uh, receiver. Interesting kid. That's a uh, two fifteen, six two. Yep. That yeah. can move. That can move. That can move. He, he's sitting over there right now. Oh, you brought him. I, okay. I brought him. Okay. I brought him. Yeah. You know, he, he's kind of That's a multi. That's the guy I was trying to figure out, just yep. without knowing the That's sheet it. of paper. That's yeah. it. That's it. So, um, Coach, appreciate you coming. Is there anybody, if you looked at the camera, that you want to thank any uh, coaches that got you where you are, that taught you, or anybody you want to oh, shout man. out to? Anybody that you know uh, that they had a yeah, part yeah. of your life that helped you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, he's not with us anymore, but uh, Joe Meeks. Joe Meeks, legendary coach, Riverfield for oh, a long man. time. Yeah, he, he he was the one great guy. Like I said, when I first started coaching, he was kind of my mentor when I first really got into it. He and, and you know Donnie Foster, both from Riverfield, but uh, we was getting ready to go play a game one time, and we was a four wide, five wide. You know, we was playing a team that had a little bit more DNA than what right. we had, and so forth. So I called him. I said, Coach, I need your help. He says, what's that? I said, we play a team that's better than us. I want to put in the, uh, the wishbone. He said, I'll be there this afternoon. And he was. Put it in. We put it in. We won with it that night. Pretty good Adapt, thing. Adapt, huh? Yeah. Old school. Adapt. That's it. That's uh, his son's Bo Meeks, right? Son is, well, it's his grandson. Grandson. That's his he grandson. Played Bo Meeks. Rustin, he played at Ruston. Rustin. Who's at Mangum now? Mangum and was at Airline, Airline for a long yeah, time. Yeah. Great guy. Great He's guy. He's overcome a lot of battles, too. Yep. yep. Uh, Bo, great Bo guy. Meek. It is. Thank you for being here, Coach. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Coach Cleo at uh, Caldwell High School. Wanted to get him some exposure and uh, South Louisiana, let him know a little bit more. Even Shreveport, Bossier, Alexandria area, let him know Caldwell's a, a strong program here in North Louisiana, a uh, suburb of basically <laughs> Monroe, right? Uh, not far. Not far. There's a lot of schools 30, 40 minutes outside of Monroe. That's it. And uh, we'll be back with two of his players that are very underrated. One's a senior, one's a junior. We'll be back. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group in Gonzales. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed Coach Cleo, the head coach at Caldwell High School. Great guy. Uh, been around the game a while. Does a good job for Caldwell High School. I want to introduce one of his big linemen, a guy that can really move. I've seen him on film, and he's 6'2", 280. Uh, really does a good job with his feet. They call him a BJ, Brian Austin, Jr., but he's a senior upcoming senior. Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you, too. Now, you play left tackle. Yes, sir. But when I see you play on film, I think Coach will agree, you definitely an offensive guard for college. And I know you play tackle for the team. Yes, sir. But you, you get out there, man. You, you hustle. You move good. Well, thank you. Um, College-wise, you, like, you want to play college ball? Yes, sir. I don't have any preferences, but I, I want to go up to the next level. Would you play any center? I'll give it a shot. Coach. I'm willing to play it. Because you're perfect center size, too. Um, 21 ACT, so you're good in the classroom. 3-6 GPA. Yes, sir. And that's, that's, a, that's an advantage for you to be uh, qualified already going into your senior year. Brian, what do, you, what do you like, BJ, about playing at Caldwell? What do you think of Coach Cleo? What do you think, Coach? I actually like him. He, uh, he's a good head coach. When he first came, it seemed like he didn't really talk much. Then after a couple of months, he started – it's like kind of game friends and it's like he's all, another. All business at first, huh? We was trying to fill everything out. Yes, this is what he told us he was trying That's to right. do. <laughs> they say when you come in, you got you to gotta take notice and then talk after, right? And he started talking more. I feel like everybody feel like he can probably be, he can, we like him, we can take him in and he can be our head coach and we'll be willing to have him. That's an old school approach. Uh, old school always works. Um, what do you think about this team coming up? I think we'll be good. We lost a lot of players last year, but we're rebuilding, and we have still a lot of talent on the team left. 
Y'all had a big old line last year. Yes, sir. Who's your buddy that signed a scholarship in football? You, you had e one. Eli Hitt, number 74. Six, five, wasn't he? Yes, sir. About what, 280? No, I think he's about 300. 300 now? And then you six two two eighty. 280. You want to give any uh, O lineman a shout out? Any of your O line buddies? Uh, Bernard Morgan, Jr., he's number 55, Good left player. guard. Uh, Rick Jarrett, right guard, number 54. And this. Good group. That's the core, huh? Yes, sir. And then you got some young guys that are coming up. Yes, sir. What do you think Caldwell can do this year? I mean, y'all are always consistent and winning seasons. And I feel like we can still have another winning season and still make it to the playoffs and succeed in the playoffs this year, too. What do you like most about football? Running into people. You like the physical part? Well, colleges love hearing that from a lineman. <laughs> you know, because some linemen, they don't like to, I don't know, they look the part, but they're not physical, right? But you actually go after guys. And I think that, like I said, keep, keep your dream if you want to play college ball because there's always a place for someone like you. Yes, sir. You know, maybe you're not 6'5 or 6'6, six, six, but you got great feet, 280 pounds, 6'2, which is not small, but they'll probably move you to guard center. But, uh, like I said, somebody's going to give you a shot in, in, if you want to do it in the end. And good to meet you. Good to meet you, too. B.J. Austin Jr., his real name's Brian, going to be a senior at Caldwell. And look, jersey number 62. If you can't get a roster at the game, number 62 on O-line, college coaches. I know college coaches don't get the rosters. They should from the high school coaches at the beginning of the week. But you never know. They might get off a plane and jump in the stands and go, who's that guy? If I only knew his number. 62. We'll be right back. Creed and Creed Law Firm. Serious attorneys. Serious injuries. Welcome back. Lee Keen, your host, Sports Scout Report, and also Louisiana Football Magazine. We got more about Caldwell High School. A junior coming up. H back, tight end, slash, slash. Andrew McKee. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too, sir. Six foot, 227 pounds, and mm -hmm. can run. Yep. Coach is high on your game. He said that uh, when he did the questionnaire and uh, asking for players, he said, keep an eye out on this guy, Andrew. He's only going to be a junior. What do you think about that? Uh, I, I, I keep don't know, an, Keep an eye on you? I guess keep an eye on me. What do you like about football? You got a 3.9 GPA, great student. I like hitting people. I like that. Again, two guys from one school, both love smash mouth football. But you got an old school coach too, right? Yep. How fired up is he when you get a knockout block? Is he pretty pumped? He's pretty pumped up. Good form tackle. Y'all do a lot of drill work in practice? Yeah, we do a lot of drill work. How yep. do you do? Do you go against your big boy here that just went on, uh, BJ? Sometimes. <laughs> usually, you're, I help, usually you're going with him against somebody else. That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> you two guys, man, y'all got quick feet. I know one thing, if, and I know Coach already knows this. I'm running on, on wherever you are with BJ, you know, the power side, right? The strong side. How are your hands? I heard your hands are pretty good. Yeah, they're all right. I can, I can catch working pretty good. On it? Yeah, I'm working on it. But you got good feet. You're already 220. You're 217, six foot at least. And you got a chance. I mean, fullbacks are six foot 220 at the LSUs of the world. I don't know if you knew that. You're mm -hmm. already in that, that size range. Now you just need to look the speed and the hands, right? Yep. And you got two years to do that. What's your goal this year as a junior, as a team, Caldwell? Team, win as many games as possible, get a good seed, and uh, try to make it deep in playoffs, possible championship. Hey, or do you and BJ throw the shot put in track by chance? I used to. Do you? I don't remember. Man, y'all need to do that. Y'all look like y'all could hit 50 feet. I throw the discus. Pretty good at it? Yeah, I'm pretty good. What's your longest throw? I think it was near 120. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So you like track? Yeah, I like track. Real fun, real relaxing sport. What you want to give a shout out to your position coach? I know we're talking about Cleo, the head coach, but you yeah, want to I mention would, your position coach? Yeah, shout out to Coach Jay and Coach Barton and Coach Head over here and Coach Ham. All of them. Very, oh, and catch Coach Crane. Very underrated program, don't you think? Caldwell's very underrated. Oh, yeah. We're beating Gina this year, for sure. Come on now. <laughs> Jay Rourke's the good coach over there. And I know Coach is Look, Coach is smiling over his head like, oh, no. Bullet, bulletin board material, huh? Yes. Um, but, no, I, I know it's all in play. But you do like playing Gina? 
Yeah, I like playing Juno. I might have to go to that game. Where's the game this year? Home, home. or away? That's yeah, home. It's home. It'd be a great game, huh? Mm-hmm. What kind of kicker do y'all have? Pretty well, good kicker? Well, it could have been me, but uh, it's, right now it's, uh, he's pretty good. He's all right. That could be a game that comes down to a field goal or go for it on fourth and one every time he gets inside the 20, right? Yeah. It's going to be a great game. And, look, good to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you, too. Two years left, Andrew McKee, fullback tight end, six foot, 217 pounds, only a junior. He's a guy to keep an eye on for the next – two years at Caldwell High School. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you to Cleo Head, the head coach, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching the Sports Scouting Report with Lieber King.